This game has not yet been rated. This cool move is for Legend of Dragoon. I'm going to show you how to open the locked chest in the Phantom Ship. Here we go. In the Phantom Ship, there is a chest that says uh, evil may come to the person who attempts to open the treasure chest. There's a combination lock on this chest to get the combination. Leave the room where the treasure chest is. Go down to the lower right hand corner of the screen and then make your way over to the staircase that leads down to the lower deck of the ship. In the lower deck of the ship, you'll find a hallway filled with ghosts and several doorways you can enter. You must fight your way through the ghosts in the hallway to get to the door all the way in the far right-hand side of the hallway. Once you get into the room at the end of the hall, make your way into the upper right-hand corner of the room where there's a small sparkling bit on the floor. Press the X button to inspect this and you'll be visited by four ghosts. Each ghost will tell you a different number Take note of these numbers. For three of these four numbers are the solution to the combination. Now that you're equipped with the clues that'll help you solve the combination lock, make your way back through the hallway to the upper deck of the ship. The first time you attempt to open this chest, you'll get 10 tries. If you're unsuccessful in choosing the combination within 10 tries, the chest will lock up on you and you'll have to go get new clues from the ghosts in the lower deck. Using the numbers that the ghosts in the lower deck of the ship told you, rearrange the numbers until you find the correct combination. Whenever you input the incorrect combination, you might see three dots appear on screen afterwards. This indicates that one or more of the numbers you chose was the correct number and was in the correct position for the combination. This will help you know you're on the right track when you're trying to figure out the combination. And that's how to open the combination chest inside the Phantom Ship on Legend of Dragoon. You can repeat this up to six times, but each time you do, the chest will reset, which means you'll have to go below decks and get new clues from the ghosts. You'll also get fewer and fewer times to input the numbers before the combination resets each time. Good luck! The cool move I'm going to show you today is the corkscrew turn from Laguna Seca on Gran Turismo 2. Basically, the corkscrew turn is one of the hardest turn to execute. What you need to do is approach it towards the right-hand side, or more the outside lane. You know, slow down, shift it to a lower gear, and drop down, and you can cut a little bit without being penalized for taking that turn. So, give it a shot. Hey gang, do not adjust your screen. I've just temporarily taken over your PlayStation. I'm Maggie, your host, here to introduce you to all the cool things you'll receive for being part of the PlayStation Underground. You can look forward to receiving the 411 on new game releases, special offers, plus demos and videos of the latest titles. And you can sign up to receive hot news email announcements at SCEA.com. 
click on the Get Connected link and you're good to go. While you're checking out what's inside, I'll be passing the word. So many gamers, so little time. This cool move is for Medieval 2, the level Greenwich Observatory. I'm going to show you how to solve the puzzle just inside the docks area. In the docks area, you'll come to a room with four switches. Each of these switches has a meter above it, and you can change the positions of the meters by using your hammer on the switches. The solution to this puzzle is actually in the next room, and can only be seen if you stand here where it glows blue, hold down L1 and triangle to remove Dan's head, then press L1 and triangle again to switch to the point of view of Dan's head. Once this is done, you can press the R2 and L2 buttons to look inside the chamber and see the solution to the puzzle. Here we can see that you need to set the first and second switches to the full position and the third and fourth switches to the barely full positions. The key to this puzzle is losing your head. Then we can press L1 and triangle to return to control of Dan's body and set the switches to the correct positions. The solution to the puzzle is random each time you play the game, so you'll have to do this yourself to solve this puzzle in Greenwich Observatory. And that's how it's done. Here's a cool move to get off the rooftop in the New York slums level for Siphon Filter 2. What you want to do here is come up onto this fan. Make sure you select a powerful weapon with enough uh, ammo. You have a couple of guards up here that you're going to want to take out. Go ahead and take them easily out with headshots. You have one there on, on the level of the rooftop that you're on and the one below. Pick up any flak jackets and ammo that they have. Then come over here to this ledge on top of the roof. Turn around and drop down below. And use your L1 button to see an awning down below that says clean rooms, low rates. Drop down to that area there. And this will get you down into the street area in the New York slums level. So you can go ahead and continue on. And that's how it's done. Welcome to another exciting edition of Cool Moves. This week, we'll look into Spyro, Year of the Dragon. I'm going to show you how to get on top of the temple in Frozen Altars. Make your way from the beginning of the level, up this staircase, and around this corner, where you'll come to a ledge you can glide from. From here, you can glide onto the temple. Just line yourself up on this corner, with the corner of the temple in view, then charge over the edge, jump, glide, and flutter at the end to get on top of the temple wall. From here, you can make your way to the top of the temple, or you can glide to another egg, and that's how it's done.